What's up, duelists? Last time I uploaded a Six Samurai video, I talked a little bit about how Dimensional Fissure would greatly improve the deck. Today, I'm going to be trying it out. A lot of people have been playing Six Samurai lately. It's a decent bad deck, if that makes any kind of sense. It's like close enough to where it could maybe do something, but it needs the right tech. What I've thrown in this deck is basically all of the most broken cards. We've got the four most powerful trap cards in the game. Double Starlight Road, which is a free win if it resolves usually. Triple Upstart to make sure we find our defissure early and often. And then just all of the best six samurai monsters. Again, going with the three spirit. For the same reason I talked about in the last video. If you have spirit equipped to a monster, even if you don't draw another six samurai, you can special summon him to the monster zone to get extra counters on gateway. So it just gives you that extra summon on the follow-up turn as well plus the effect is fantastic it doesn't actually need to send the monster to the graveyard it's just if it destroys it by battle you get to draw a card so it works really nicely with dimensional fissure so yeah gonna go ahead and try and find a game a lot of this deck is just like i i don't even i don't even know it's so close it's so close if we had like one or two more monsters that didn't absolutely suck i'm trying out two iro i want uh more ways to deal with Raiko. Basically, if I can deal with Ryko, then maybe Defissure can stick around. That's kind of the game plan. I might end up changing this list halfway through the video. I've got a lot of one-ups in the side. I'm not really sure exactly how good all of those are going to be. We're just testing a whole bunch of different stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, fun stuff. Looks like there's a lot of people hosting for Edison, but not a lot of people joining for Edison. What is going on? Hold up. I'll re-host. Maybe because it's higher up, someone will see it and click on my match. I guess I'll take this moment to plug RBET Moreno Valley is coming up August 19th. Make sure you guys are signed up. Definitely come through. This is a once in a lifetime tournament. And then of course, RBET Orlando, both once in a lifetime events. Got the Shonen Jump Dark End for the prize card. Got a lot of other amazing prizes at both of the events. So uh, definitely come through. Come play some Edison. Come meet some of the people who are a big part of the community, big part of the, the movement, etc. Uh, if you're if you're looking for a reason, uh, this is your reason. All right, what are we picking? Let's go paper. Fantastic. So I'm not gonna open up with Gateway and United because I never open up with those. It just never happens. I always draw like double Starlight compulsory, and then my opponent just doesn't have Heavy Storm. Never mind. I opened United. See, I was kind of I was kind of faking out existence. You know what I mean? I was kind of faking out my uh my my. Oh my God, we opened Gateway too. Okay, hold up. DB lagging. DB stay lagging. We're going to go main one. Upstart first, just to see what we get. Still not great. I'm going to be honest, not great, because we have to commit into Heavy Storm with this hand. He gains 1,000 life points. Opponent needs to add 1,000. And then we can proceed. I'm thinking we're going to go 6am United, Gateway of the Six. Normal summon, Iro, and then set bottomless trap hole. Plus 1,000. Please, opponent, play, play the game. Play the game. Okay, cool. Awesome. So we'll go United, Gateway, uh, Normal Summon, Iro. He's the one we want to resolve. We'll get some counters. And then I am going to set bottomless trap hole. I could launch the United for one uh, to play around Heavy Storm, but I'm going to just say he doesn't have it. And honestly, because I'm saying he doesn't have it, I probably should have set Mirror Force too. But here we are. In case he has, like, Dimensional Alchemist, we are going to Bottomless Trap hold that. Get that out of here. All right. Next turn, we can summon our Hand of the Six. We have to be careful of Icarus Attack. That's going to be a problem for a Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Um, awesome. So we'll Normal Hand. Go ahead and grab some counters. Three, four. We can... How does this work? You can remove two Bushido counters uh, from cards on the field. So I can remove one from this. I think this optimizes. We go one from this and three from this. And we go find Grandmaster. I think that optimizes. I could be wrong though. And then we'll special Grandmaster. We'll add a counter. Add two counters to this. And then we'll draw a card. Or draw two cards, actually. Draw two new, beautiful, terrible cards. Trap does shoot on resolution. Be my guest. <laughs> Please. Please take one of these terrible, terrible cards from me. I do not want any of them. I, I really 
he's taking the superfluous grandmaster. That's interesting. I don't know why. I don't know why you would do that. Uh, you can only control one, so maybe the opponent is just just new to this matchup. We are going to deal a million points of damage. We have an absolute nut start, uh, and I'm just I'm just happy about all this. I'm just happy. I'm just vibing. We didn't draw D Fissure, but that's like totally fine in this matchup. We don't really need it. We can just pass. We have a summon for next turn. We have three counters on the gateway to pump up a monster if we need to. We've got Mirror Force. We've got Road to protect ourselves. I really don't know how we could possibly lose unless he like blind spaces the road uh, and then Black Rose dragons me. I think that's like the only way I could possibly lose. But he'd have to blind space the road somehow. Otherwise, I just don't see it. We have the active gateway. We have we have card advantage on him. We have defense. We have offense. He needs to make a play this turn or else he loses. He's viewing his extra deck. That's interesting. He could go Bryonic. Maybe. I don't know how he could go Bryonic. Let's see. Kalut Special Gale. Okay, he could go Kalut Special Gale, Bryonic, try to bounce the Starlight Road, and then Heavy Storm me, maybe. Uh, he could resolve Dark Arm Dragon somehow. I'm not really sure how. I guess if he goes like Kalut Special Gale, Synchro Arm doing attack, we're not mirror forcing because that means he probably has Dark Arm Dragon. Yeah. And then we can just win the next turn. So. That should be fine. Uh, I'm not really sure. I don't think he has... I don't think he has a lot of trap cards. So here comes Blizzard. That's fine. Special Bora. Okay, same thing. Yeah, Special Bora. Uh, also fine. Yeah, go nuts. And there's Bryonic. Okay, so this could be Bryonic Dark Armed. Let's see what he wants to do. Bouncing the Gateway is actually not bad either. He needs to delete the hand, but there's just not, right now there's no way for him to get get over our board. I'm not really sure. He would need to have Dark Arm Dragon here. Like that's literally, I think that's the only case. Uh, but even then, no, yeah, if he has Dark Arm, we lose. But if he doesn't have Dark Arm, then I think we're okay. Hmm. We are going to lose something here. He's going to bounce something, kill something. No, he might have to bounce both back row. So he might have to pitch two to bounce both back row. And then he only has one card left. Which means we should be okay. Because we have Yaichi to summon, and then Gateway gets two counters, and then we can just search another Grandmaster, or another hand, or whatever. It's totally fine. Okay, there's one. All right, that's going to go to my hand. Now what? Do you have Dark Armed or not? My opponent's taking an astronomical amount of time to think this through. It's been two and a half minutes. <laughs> Make a play. <laughs> like, you have two cards left in your hand. L let's see it. Let's see it. Okay. Thumbs up. <laughs> What is he thinking about? Like, if you have Dark Armed, it's hitting play right now. This guy's taking forever. Um, paused the game. Bruh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't want to play this out. I want to play a fucking game for content. <laughs> the Dark Knight. He's fighting with the Joker and he's like, just a second. Pauses the fight. Fucking what? What is he? What is he? What is he doing? What is he thinking? What is he? What is going on? What is happening? Why is this taking five minutes of my life that I'll never get back? Pain, suffering, agony, even. Uh, we're leaving this one. I'm not waiting around for my opponent. Fuck. Taking forever, ass. We're getting a new game. That was really frustrating. All right. Next game. Good luck. Have fun. We're picking Rock. Basically, that game would have been, we would have won if he didn't have Dark Arms, and we would have lost if he did. And that's it. And my opponent was just taking 8 million years to decide. So, alas, here we are. We lost Rock, Paper, Scissors, but this is okay. This is an okay opening hand. Set Monsters. Okay. Grandmaster Pog. Okay, I'm going to upstart Goblin. I'm gonna upstart goblin. 
He's gonna gain a thousand. Oh my gosh, we drew another United. That's so good. That's so good. He has to have a summon stop for six Spirit of the Six Samurai, which these decks don't normally play. So we're gonna go United, United, Normal Summon Spirit, get counters. Um Special Grandmaster. Get more counters. He says, what a life. United number one. We got two cards. Very nice. Dimensional Fissure. Excellent. Okay. United number two. Draw two cards. Oh, Gateway. Oh. Oh. Oh, hello there. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and activate Dimensional Fissure. Um, and then we'll go ahead and activate Spirit of the Six. Moving it on to Grandmaster. Oh my goodness. This deck is fire! <laughs> Holy shit! Uh... <laughs> that is awesome. That is that is the nuts. <laughs> that was the nuts. Holy shit! Okay, let's just run it back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Dimensional, dimensional samurai doing some work. Chill, Phil. That's the homie. Okay, we got Gospodin. He's actually a player, dude. He's actually a player. He's played in a lot of my tournaments. Uh, that means he's picking scissors. No. Wow. Oh, he's picking rock again. Yep. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. As soon as he didn't pick scissors, I knew he was picking rock again. Ooh, we're kind of on a tear with this deck. I'm not going to lie. This hand. Oh my gosh. It's great. <laughs> this hand is great. This hand is fantastic. Okay. Uh, what's the move? Is it just get our gateway search? I think so. I think it's I think it's just clear as clear as can be. Just get our gateway search. What do we search for? I think it's spirit. I think he's the best one. Because we can play him through bottomless. I want a defuser so bad here, but it's it's not a good play. We could set Rhoda to bait storm. Or we could just activate defense. I'm just gonna activate I'm just gonna You know what? I'm just gonna activate it. We have another Grandmaster. We have ways to search for another Grandmaster. If he gets banished, he gets banished. Uh, I just want this in play in case he has like Shura or Fire Dog. Or something that can destroy Iro, but cause me problems, basically. Set monster. Set back rows. Nobody likes set back rows. Come on, man. Well, this one's pretty easy. I mean, Iroh just blows this shit up, so that means he has to have a back row that matters, right? In which case, I think I'm gonna Six Samurai United and then go grab Hand of the Six, right? Is that the move? Oh, I could be playing into Tarantula by doing that. Oh, man, this is frustrating. <clears throat> we get kind of destroyed by Mirror Force, but I'm just gonna do it. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to attack into it. Yeah. I kind of knew that was coming, but that's okay. We'll go main phase two. Activate Rota. Go find hand. Hopefully the second back row isn't bottomless. If it is, we kind of get destroyed here. So I'm going to normal hand. We're going to get United counter. And gateway counter. And then I'm in a special Grandmaster. We'll get United counter and gateway counter. I'm going to activate... Oh, shit. Accidental zoom. Okay, I'm going to activate United first, I think, to draw two. Just to get maximum information. Okay, we drew another hand, so I'm going to sacrifice the hand. I'm going to sacrifice the hand to banish their monster. And the chain compulsory on his monster. That's fine. I'm going to activate gateway, removing four counters. I'm going to go search, I believe, another Grandmaster. Or, hmm. 
He set both his back row. That means he has no more back row. He has all monster hands. So searching Yaichi is bad. He has a set monster. I'm going to search another Iroh. I'm going to search another Iroh. I'm going to set bottomless. And I'm going to pass the turn. So if we get heavy stormed, we drop down to four cards to four cards, which sucks. But that's the worst case scenario. If that doesn't happen, then we're actually kind of chilling. Getting spirit into play is kind of a top priority of mine because that's a way we can activate gateway every single turn. Or every other turn, I suppose. It's like six counters over the course of two turns. So it's like... You get the idea. Looks like he's going to concede. Wow. That was very fortunate. I don't know what he's playing. He does have Mirror Force and Compulsory. Those two cards I've seen in Fairies before. And that is a deck that would concede to Dimensional Fissure. So I'm going to side like he's playing Fairies. I'm going to side in Light Mirror. I'm going to side in... Uh, Doom Caliber Knight. I'm going to side in maybe Smashing Ground even. And that's it. I'm just going to bring in these three cards. I'm going to side out... I'm not really sure. I think Yaichi is like kind of mid in general. He's like one of the worst normal summons. Kmon's not going to be that useful here. I don't think he does that much. We're siding in a normal summon, so... I want to side out a couple of our normal summons. I might leave in the Yaichi. I don't know. And I'm going to side out an Upstart Goblin. Actually, no. I kind of like that card. I might side out a Bottomless. If I think it's Fairies, I'm going to side out a Bottomless. So, we'll try that. I think this is the best way to side. If it is Fairies. It might not be Fairies. It might be like Quick Draw or something. But it's rare to see Quick Draw play Compulsory. And it's rare to see decks concede to Dimensional Fissure. Like, that's really strange. That's not something I'm used to seeing. Okay, this hand's good. This hand's really good. We're going to go Upstart Goblin. I mean, we basically just open the nuts every single game. <laughs> Which is crazy. Oh my god, and we drew Yaichi. That's perfect. So what I think we do is we go United, Normal Yaichi, Special Grandmaster. Yeah, that's the plan. So activate United. Normal Yaichi, add the counter, and then um, Special Grandmaster, add the counter. Let's see what he wants to do here. He might have Solemn for this. Bottomless, that's fine. That's totally fine. We united to draw two. Awesome. Now we can activate Dimensional Fissure and attack over the monster. And I think that's exactly what we want to do. Let's just do that. Our hand kind of sucks, but Dimensional Fissure can carry in this matchup. Never mind, he's going to hit the back row. Okay. Mills Gale. Wow. Weird. Weird. Heavy Storm gone. Dust Tornado gone. He's probably playing Value Turbo. But I don't know why he would have conceded last game. That's... That's some crazy person talk. All right, we'll set the compulsory and we'll pass. We are going to need to compulsory, like a Sirocco or something, if that comes down. Junk Synchron. Not what I was expecting, but that's fine. His best play is actually to crash with the Aichi, but he doesn't know that. He doesn't know that. But he should just crash with this. That's his best play. Making a synchro here. That's a mistake. He's going to attack. We are going to compulsory his synchro. Chaos Sorcerer is live for him, but he's a little bit far off from Pot of Avarice. He's going to set two back row. Well, I sincerely hope that one of them is not Torrential Tribute. I'm going to summon. Priority. Yaichi, target this one. Hits a D-Prison, nice. I'm going to swing him with Iro. I don't think he has Mirror Force. Oh, he has another D-Prison. Alright, well... We can pass. That's a lot of D-Prisons. What deck is this? I still don't know what deck this is. It still could be Value Turbo, <laughs> actually. Yeah, looks like it is. 
Interesting. All right. So this is going to pitch value. Send Sirocco. Yeah. The classic. All right. He can make an armed wing. I need to draw something good. I've drawn too many of the bad monsters here. I sided pretty poorly. But such is life. We're getting a good idea of his configuration right now, which is nice. Grandmaster, does that do anything? Kind of does. What does this do? At the end of the damage step, if this card attacked, destroy the monster this card attacked. Okay, beautiful. We can beat his board. So we'll go. Sanji, special Grandmaster. Battle phase, Grandmaster attack Dark Refer. Does this guy have to survive to use this effect? Uh, attack this shit. I don't know if, I, if it has to survive. Um, but I'm going to use the effect. I think this works, right? Um, I'm not sure if I have to substitute the death or not, but whatever. I'm not sure if I have to. I might have to substitute the death there. This is a ruling I'm going to have to look up at some point, but it looks like Gisboden knows it. Okay, set monster, set back row. This looks like a job for... I wrote, trap does shoot, terrible draw. <laughs> terrible, terrible draw. So we'll go Iroh attack. Oh, he's gonna bottomless. Um, That's fine, I'll still attack. If it's Raikou, the Grandmaster gets added back to my hand. It's Fair Reaper, wow. Okay, well, we'll just pass. We lost both our Iroh's, that kind of sucks, but hand of the six gets us out of this. I left dust shoot in my hand because if he has a way to clear the Grandmaster, okay, it's Caius. Sure. That's bad. That's really bad. I don't think I have a lot of outs to resolve, Kai. So I'm going to draw a light mirror watch. Yeah, that's really bad. Okay. Well, I'll just pass. That was a good top deck from him. He had the top deck, but he did. And that's how it goes sometimes. Okay. Main phase two, set back row, gateway of the six. And we are going to heavy storm to get info. He left in the mirror force. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Good to know. All right, so Lightmare's coming back out. We're definitely bringing in the bottomless. In this matchup, I actually really do like Compulsory. I think it's very good. It's probably better than like smashing. Yaichi's also really good in this matchup. So we'll go. Man, that was a tough one. I think we could have beat him. I like DD Crow too in this matchup. Even though it's like obviously really bad if we draw D Fissure. If we draw D Fissure, we should be winning anyway. So there's that. I don't hate pulling the rug in this matchup either. Or Dust Tornado. I think we're going to side out the Smashing Ground. We're going to try to bring in some combination of these five cards. I don't really like Trap Dust Shoot in this matchup. I don't really care about any of his monsters. Um, as long as we have D Fissure up, like we should be winning. I'm going to side out Heavy Storm because we're going first. And we're bringing in Dust Tornadoes, which kind of cover that ground. I'm going to side out one, two upstarts. Eh, I want the upstarts. I'm going first. I also kind of do want the Dust Shoot. I am going first. Maybe it's Torrential because I'm going first. Like, Torrential out, Dust Shoot stays in because I'm going first. And then upstarts. But I want the upstarts because I'm going first. Maybe it's one road. They don't have really a lot of ways to proc road outside of Mirror Force Heavy. We'll do one road, one upstart. This could be wrong. It could also be like not bringing in the crow. But whatever. I definitely want all three Aichi going first. Yeah. That's definitely the move. Okay, this hand's fantastic. Uh, Fantastic? Kind of. It's kind of fantastic. I think it's Iro. I think it's Rota for Iro. Hmm. Or it could just be Zanji. Okay. Yeah, I like this. We'll go Gateway, D Fissure, Summon Zanji, get two counters. 
set compulsory pass. I think this should be good enough. Um, okay. He's got heavy storm, otherwise. You don't go standby unless you have heavy storm. Oh, you have that. That's okay. That doesn't that doesn't beat me. I need to compulsory it though. I do need to compulse it. So we are gonna drop a card, but we'll make it up next turn with the gateway search. And then we can just put spirit on this guy and then be good to go. Although he potentially has a lot of back row. Yeah, that's an issue. Okay, well. Hmm. We could Rota for Yaichi now. I think that's a little bit better than whatever we were doing before. He could have Torrential here. So I think the move is actually attack first. No, because then... Dude, it's so bad. I think it's always a summon Yaichi. It's definitely better to summon it here. We get two counters. Um, I'll try to activate my gateway effect first because if he has Dust Tornado, he'll need to chain it now. Okay, yeah, that's good. And then we'll go Yaichi activate, target that one. Hits a Solemn, okay. Very good, that's gonna be the Solemn for our Solemn. We could swing in with the Zanji now, but I don't really see the point when we can just keep popping his back rows. Let me just pass. There's really no point in swinging in with the Zanji. I'm gonna Solemn Thunder King this turn, and that's gonna be his normal. His guy will get banished. Banished. And then uh, next turn we can Yaichi pop some more. And we don't even need to swing in, which is nice. Okay, so the move is Yaichi pop first. Hit a D-Prison, very nice. There really is no reason for us to like get too crazy with things. So I'm going to go summon Spirit, activate, equip onto Zanji, and then pass the turn. This way, if we draw a gateway, we can summon two monsters next turn with the hand and the spirit special deck. He's going to set a monster. That's perfectly fine. We drew uh, Grandmaster. That's amazing. Yaichi going to pop the other back row. I'm so happy I sided the third of this in. Oh my gosh. This game has been, been a really, really good showing for all of our cards. I can summon hand, I can blow up his monster, or I could attack over it with Zanji and draw a card. Now the issue is if it's Raikou, I'd like to just blow it up. I think actually leaving Yaichi is kind of better than leaving hand, but I could also go hand special Grandmaster, sack the Grandmaster, leave both hand and Yaichi in play. Hmm. That's not terrible. I think I'm just going to attack it. I just want the card draw. I think I just want the card draw. I don't want to play into Gores. Like, I'm, I'm already winning by a lot. So, I just don't want to throw this game. Raikou going to hit D-Fissure. It's got, it has to hit D-Fissure. Um, okay, this activates too, I believe, right? Yep. Um, so, we'll draw a card. This guy will go to the grave. He'll banish the top three. And Raikou will get banished as well. Interesting. That must mean he has Sirocco. Uh, we have a response to that, though. We have Hand and Grandmaster. Either that or he has an out to the uh, D-Fissure. But we're just up a bunch of cards. So I think we're killing it. I think this matchup's actually pretty good for six Samurai. Especially because of the D-Fissures. Like, I think it's actually pretty solid. He might have, like, Brain Caius. Or he might have a Caius he's looking to, like, establish. Hmm. Damn, this Yaichi actually did so much work. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. Oh my gosh, and he has a set monster this turn. And now we can go for hand. Hand blow up. And we have another Yaichi, so we can surprise him, basically. So we'll go summon hand. Activate the effect. 
Sacrifice Yaichi, target a set monster. Hit the other Raikou, beautiful. Go 1600, 1800. Now he's under actual pressure. Does he have Gores? I don't think he has Gores. He set too many cards. Uh, we'll just pass. I'm holding the Grandmaster in case we draw either United or Gateway. And it lets us surprise with hand. He has to attack hand. Yep. So we're going to take 400. We are going to lose our hand. He's going to pass. He has no more back row. We draw road. That's excellent. One of the ways we were losing this game was from, obviously, the Starbucks Dragon. Or not Starbucks Dragon. Uh, Heavy Storm. So here we go. It's either hand, special, grand. it might just be special Grandmaster. I think it's just special Grandmaster. We want to conceal hand and Yaichi if possible. Don't want to expose them to attacks. So I'm just going to special Grandmaster. Uh, battle phase attack over the Sirocco for 100. And then Zanji attack directly for 1800. And if he does have Gore's main phase 2, we can summon the hand and then blow, blow it up. I don't think he has it. I'm going to be honest, I don't think he has it. But yeah, we set the road and now we're kind of insulated. That was a pretty good draw. So the way we lose this game is if he has like Torrential and he draws into that. Okay, do we just win if we go hand blow up? Yes, we do. So we'll go hand, activate, blow up his set monster, attack with both. GG's. GG's. That's crazy. That was really sick. He offered a rematch. No, thank you. We are taking that W and ending this video. See you guys in the next one. Dimensional Samurai actually putting in a lot of work. I think this is a cool deck. I think this is a cool way to approach it because you just kind of overload the opponent's removal and the effects stack up really nicely when you have Dimensional Fissure in play. Obviously, this deck is always going to struggle to deal with a resolved Caius, but as long as you have Dimensional Fissure, it makes it pretty difficult for your opponent to ever really get anything going. I'll see you guys in the next vid. Peace.